Beep, 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 beep. Welcome back to your Hughes Group Jacks monthly market update. Let's talk about January of 2023. Hi, I'm Aaliyah. And I'm Wendy. With Hughes Group Jacks, and I can't believe we're already talking about 2023. Yes. So, Wendy, what are we seeing in the real estate market? So, we are seeing our median sales price, um, I can't believe it, but actually went up year over year, 5.7%. Wow. So our uh, median sales price is $359,243 here yeah. in Northeast Florida. And so um, one of the reasons we're seeing in the numbers, because the path is in the math. Right. And um, so we did see a decrease of right around 40% on the amount of homes that actually sold. Mm. And so what's happening is that's causing days on market to lengthen. We're currently at 55 days on the market. Mm-hmm. And interest rates are certainly impacting that. Right. So, but the great news is that we do have more homes for sale. Mm -hmm. And so they're able to take a little bit, buyers are able to take a little bit longer. Sellers, you just need to be aware of how many days it takes to right. sell a home. And of course, when you're selling a home, price, condition, and location are what sell a home. So if you are at the top of your, um, with your um, condition and location, then probably your days on market is going to be less and so that's why as a seller you want to reach out to us we can help you create the strategy to um, meet your needs mm -hmm. and then um, now Aaliyah are sellers getting um, always getting 100% of their sales price um, or is it like 80% of their sales price? Well, with what you're hearing uh, in the media, you might think that, oh, sellers aren't getting anything close to what they're asking for. But a list-to-sell ratio um, is 97%. You know, oh, maybe 96.7%. Wow. So right around that 97%. Yeah. So they're only giving up 3%. Wow. Yeah. So it really, you're really getting what you're asking for as a seller. Mm -hmm. And... Um, if we were a traditional media, our headline would also be inventory is up 300% year over year because it, it is up 322%, but we're only at 4.7 months of inventory. So a balanced market is six months. So we're still in a seller's market. So the great news is that sellers are still getting pretty much what they're asking for. Mm -hmm. um, and the days on market is creating a win-win situation. So sellers are getting the price they're asking for and buyers have time to make a decision, sure. get inspections, get repairs on the house. Mm -hmm. um, so it really is a much better situation that we're in for both buyers and sellers this year versus last year. So um, even though it is 300% more inventory, it gives uh, buyers and sellers a win-win situation. So if you're also a seller looking to sell your home and buy a new home, this market is fantastic for you because we are seeing home home sale contingencies again. Before mm. you didn't have that protection. So now is a great time to think about that. And then for buyers as well, we're seeing um, interest rates stabilizing. So if you've been renting, um, we're not seeing huge price increases. We're seeing um, interest rates stabilizing. So now's the time to buy um, versus renting because um, we've still seen rents going up. Right. Exactly. And remember, um, price um, um, increased and six percent yeah. year over year. Right. So we see that um, even though I don't, I, I hope that you know we we won't see twenty percent appreciation year over year. Right. That was very abnormal, and you can see we've had to correct for that. So normal appreciation is the four to six percent. So right. that means when you own the home and you right. go to sell it in a couple of years, you're the one that gets the equity out of it, rather than the landlord or the apartment owner. Mm -hmm. So that's why um, it is so wonderful to own a home right so make sure you like and leave a comment so that we can answer any of your questions and subscribe or follow us so that you don't miss out on our next market update